I'm joined now by Kamloops Blazers forward Nathan Bain. Nathan, you know, it might be hard to believe, but summer's just about come and gone already. And now we're, we're just a little over a month away until puck drop on the regular season. So, you know, take us back to this summer. What's been on the go for you and, and what's training camp been look or what's not training camp? What's training been looking like as you uh, head to Kamloops for training camp st- come September? Yeah, well, obviously I've been trying to get uh, stronger and faster. I'll be playing with older players, but I think I've been doing a good job to get ready. And I've been playing with players over the summer who have been in the WHL and pro players who know how to compete at that level. So I've been learning from them. So I feel really prepared. So what's your excitement level knowing that uh, training camp starts start of September and then puck drop on the regular season won't be uh, far behind? You know, you get to finally suit up your first uh, full season with the um, Blazers in your 16 year old year. You know, just how are you feeling? Yeah, I'm really excited. I think it's going to be great. We're going to have a good team again this year. Going to be competitive. A lot of returning players who can uh, lead the way. And then some uh, younger players who are going to fill some big roles too. And I'm excited for my full first season in the dub. While this season may be your first full season with the Blazers, you actually logged six games with them last season, including their home home opener. You know, take me through that experience. How did you find out that you made the opening night roster and what it was like stepping on the WHL uh, ice for the very first time? Yeah, it was awesome. They had a couple of guys at NHL camp, so I was lucky enough to get an opportunity. It was a dream come true playing home opener at 15. And, uh, And then I got a couple other regular season games in and a playoff game and it was nice to get a feel for it for my 15 year old year coming into my 16 year old year and knowing more what to expect and did the guys in the room give you the rookie lap treatment and how did that go they actually didn't get a rookie lap because it was the home opener so they did player introductions instead I mean, I guess you'll take that for a close second, right? Yeah. Well, um, you mentioned playing six regular season games as well as a playoff game. You know, how did that small sample size that you you participated in kind of help you prepare for what's to come this season? Yeah, I thought every game I played last year, I got more and more comfortable with the pace and the strength of the players and what it takes to play in that league. And I think I've got to get enough idea now of what I have to do this year to be an impact player on the Blazers. And what do you think you might need to do differently, if anything, you know, making that jump to the WHL and from you what you've already, you know, experienced last season? Yeah, I think I just need to compete hard every shift, keep up with everyone, all the top players on the other team. I think I'll, I'll do a good job at that and just get in more explosive to be ready to compete with older players. You played in front of the home crowd at the Sandman Center uh, a handful of times last season as well. What can you tell me about the Blazers fan base and what excites you most about getting to play in front of them again this year? Yeah, it's a great hockey town. They, uh, It's a great city. They got the Blazers, so a lot of the city comes out and supports. It's like a great atmosphere in the Sandman. And with the Memorial Cup post last year, the whole town was involved, so it was pretty cool. You also got to suit up for a game uh, in the playoffs in the first round. You know, take tell me about that experience and, you know, how is that uh, different from what you played in the regular season? Yeah, I think just the physicality and, like, the compete level in the playoffs is higher. I'd say, like, it's like that in any league. But especially when you get to higher levels like the WHL, you got to be willing to do everything you can in the playoffs. So I think it was good for me to see what it takes to win a playoff series, let alone a regular season game. The Kamloops Blazers were home to nine W or nine NHL prospects last season, and they added two more in Emmett Finney and Connor Levis in June. You know, what was it like getting to share a locker room with the guys like, you know, Logan Stankov and Olin Zellweger, or Caden Bankier, to name a few, even though the list does go on and on with that team? Yeah, they were all really welcoming. The whole organization is welcoming. Those guys, they know what it takes to be a good player in this league, and they know what it takes to get drafted to pro hockey. And it was just really good to be around them, uh, looking at all the little details that they do every day to be a great player in this league. Now, on a more personal note, and for the WHL audience who might not know who Nathan Vame is just yet, you know, can you tell us a little bit about your play style and what you, what strengths do you bring to the Blazers organization? Yeah, I think uh, my biggest strength is being a dual threat. I can shoot and I can pass. I have really good hockey IQ. 
so I can see the ice really well. And uh, I just feel like I make other players around me better with uh, my IQ. And uh, I'm, yeah, like I said, dual threat. So I can make uh, make reads off what the defenders are doing. Now, what about hobbies? You know, what would we find you be doing on a, on a day off or even, you know, this summer? What have you been uh, doing to keep yourself busy besides, uh, you know, training really hard? Yeah, well, I like golfing. I'm pretty good at golf. I've golfed in a couple tournaments. Go to the lake a couple times, just take some rest days because, you know, I want to be uh, ready to go to start the season. Can't be going full time every day, but taking some rest at the lake and then golfing and then training. Now, uh, you mentioned you, you're you pretty into golf and stuff. Did you hit any, you know, personal uh, best this summer or what's your kind of go to uh, course to go golf at? Yeah, just the local Calgary courses we have here. I've been playing pretty good this summer, so it's been good. Now, flipping back to uh, earlier, you know, you you give us a little bit about your play style and what you bring to the Blazers organization, but would you say there's an NHL player that you like to mimic their their style of play or you watch on TV and kind of try to adapt and, and bring that style of play into into how you, you play? Yeah, I'd say in the NHL, I'm like kind of like I'm a, a Guinea Malkin a big forward who can read the ice well, is a skilled player and uh, plays well, whether he's with Crosby or whether with, he's not with Crosby and makes other players around him better. Now, wrapping things up here, you know, uh, again, training camp is just in a couple of weeks here, but do you have any uh, any more plans for the rest of summer or is it just kind of strictly training and then shipping off to uh, Kamloops? Yeah, just pushing this last little bit here just making sure that I'm ready for everything that's going to come my way this season and uh, just being ready to go full-time for this year and be an impact player.